So for this video, I'm going to start with Azure Active Directory and in the videos afterwards, just go through the different features of Azure Active Directory. So this one I'm going to focus on users, so creating one. Uh, whoops. Come here, go to Azure Active Directory. Let's go to users. Well, actually, let's go back. And you can see what type of license you have set up the free one. So I'm not going to have all the advanced features like security stuff, but it'll be enough to make users into that. So I'm already one user, and I'm the admin. So let's create a new one. And we're just going to create. And if you want to create users in bulk, you can do that. Just give them username. And that's well put name and you can have a custom domain if you want but right now I'm just gonna use this one which is like an email and Microsoft and there's a lot of information to fill out um, I'm just gonna create my own password instead of letting it make its own there's the password rules and groups is like you know if you want to you add users to a group and then you just add a specific access to the group and it applies to all of them instead of one by one for each user. And roles is similar, it's role based access control. A group based access control is just a specific role based access control. Um, everything else is fine. Let's just create and let's go to it. So yeah, so we created this user, um, let's sign in. So just copy this, I think it is just like the username, and let's sign in with a different account. Then you put in the password that you use and created the user. And it's probably gonna ask us to change it. So, Put in that password and then you have to update it. And you sign in, and it's going to give us like the security defaults to keep secure. And I'm just going to skip for now. And you have 14 days to requires. I'll do maybe later, and we're in the Azure default screen. So anyway, see, I'm, I'm in this new user. And if you try to do something like all resources, nothing pops up because when you create a new user, and by default, it's not going to give them any access to anything. So right now, you can't really do anything. So in the next video, let's give some explicit permissions to this user. But I'm gonna go, and to do that, you kinda go back to the admin user for the Azure Active Directory. And I'll start off from here for the next video.